There's lots of talk in the industry right now about cloud computing. What is it? How does it work? What do we use it for? What are the different types of clouds? These are all things we need to understand if we're going to work with cloud computing. So let's start with a question, what is cloud computing? And let's try to give a quick definition. It's going to be this. Cloud computing is using computing and or storage resources that are located somewhere else. Cloud computing is based on this idea of virtualization. We can virtualize our storage, we can virtualize our applications, we can virtualize our services, we can virtualize even our computing hardware. And by virtualizing all of that information or all of those resources, we place them at a different location and that's what we refer to as working in the cloud. When we're talking about clouds, we'll talk about three different types of clouds. We'll have a public cloud, a private cloud, and a hybrid cloud. So let's start with the public cloud. Now, a couple of key things about the public cloud. Number one, services are available over the internet. Number two, they're available to anybody who wants to connect to those services. They can be either free or paid. So some examples, uh, Google has some examples of cloud-based services with Gmail and Google Docs. Amazon has some web services through AWS that can provide platform or infrastructure as a service. Uh, Microsoft has some um, public cloud services through Microsoft Azure. So those give you an idea of some of the things that are available to, um, are available for the public cloud. Remember the key things, they're available uh, over the internet and they're available to anybody who wants access to them. So now let's talk about private clouds. Private clouds use similar technology to public clouds. So we use virtualization, we use clustering. Uh, we use a lot of the same types of technology, but the big difference is a private cloud is for the use of a single organization. Not everybody has access to it. So the positive side of that is they are a little bit more secure because the organization maintains physical access of its data. The downside of private clouds is that the organization now has to build its own infrastructure. They have to put in their own servers, they have to put in their own SANs, they have to maintain all of the equipment. All of that now falls on that organization. So now let's talk about hybrid clouds. Now hybrid cloud involves using both public and private clouds. So we may keep some data in our uh, private cloud, some data in a public cloud. A couple of reasons we can do this. Uh, we can use this for scalability. So we can run mostly off of our private cloud, but then when we need to scale up for something, we can extend that into the public cloud and then scale it back down if we want to. Another thing we can do is we can give wider access to non-sensitive information. So we can keep uh, sensitive data in our private cloud. Non-sensitive data we can make available in a public cloud and we can make it available in ways that we don't want to with our private cloud because it may open up some security holes. So there you have it, a brief overview of public clouds, private clouds, and hybrid clouds.